Hi, this is Movie Review Time, episode number 19. And today's movie is... Da, 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 da. Paranormal Activity 2! It says on the front, steady your nerves. Your sleepless nights are about to return. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so this is part of my horror film collection. And Paranormal Activity 2 came out in 2010, R rated, 91 minutes long. IMDb describes it. As after experiencing what they think are a series of break-ins, a family sets up security cameras around their home only to realize that the events unfolding before them are more sinister than they seem. Ooh. Anyway, back of the movie says, one of the scariest films of all time. Includes never-before-seen footage. Paranormal Activity 2 is as groundbreaking as the original. Just as Daniel and Christy welcome a newborn baby into their home, a demonic presence begins terrorizing them, tearing apart their perfect world and turning it into an inescapable nightmare. Security cameras capture the torment, making every minute horrifyingly real. Critics warn to say goodbye to sleep, as Paranormal Activity 2 will haunt you long after its shocking final scene. Da, da, da. Okay, so this movie is starring the beautiful and wonderfully talented act- actress Sprague Graydon. She is by far one of my all time favorites, and she's the best thing that to ever happen to the Paranormal Activity franchise. She plays Christy Ray, the main character of the film. She's the sister of Katie from the first Paranormal Activity movie, so now the shit is happening to her instead of her sister. The budget was an estimated $3 million. Opening weekend in the U.S. was $40 million, and that was October 24, 2010. It grossed in the U.S. $84 million. Worldwide, it made $177 million. Not too shabby. Okay, so... My favorite part of the entire movie, okay, is when Christy is sitting in the kitchen drinking coffee and all of a sudden all the cabinets and drawers fly open and pots and pans come flying out. Absolutely love that part. It gets me every time. Best thing to ever happen in a horror film ever by far. Okay, so my favorite IMDb IMDb review gave it 8 out of 10 stars, and that was on October 23, 2010, by iHeartCali5882. Most of the reviews were not very good. They People did not like Paranormal Activity 2 as much as the first one. I love all the films, but I think 2 and 3 are my two favorites. Anyway, title of this review is Holy Shit! I'm definitely spooked. Saw this today, and I have to say that I enjoyed it more than the original. Neither film will impress those who don't care for horror movies that consist entirely of build-up and atmosphere with very little action moments. I happen to enjoy a wide variety of them, this type including. So, the slower slower pacing for three-fourths of the movie didn't particularly bother me. These three-fourths consist primarily of some rather creepy jump moments, two in particular that really took me by surprise. At this point, I was prepared to say it was decent, but not that great, until the ending, which really took me aback. The film does a nice job of giving some exposition on how Katie slash Micah's, the Katie slash Micah situation came to be. Dates and incidents tie in very well, There's also plenty of explanation for the why questions, which I appreciate. The only thing I would have to say is that it tends to drag during the middle, but once it gets rolling, it's great. I haven't been truly scared by a horror movie in several years. This one has changed that, and even better than the original. So there you go. I highly recommend Paranormal Activity 2. 
if you like horror films. Once again, Amaya, this involves a child and possibly getting possessed and I don't know what all, so you might not want to watch this till you're done having kids. Okay, bye.